Hi guys, welcome to my channel and this video which is another new in taste test and review for late summer, early autumn 2024 and this time I'm actually going to be doing Tesco. Now I used to have Tesco online deliveries but stopped getting those when they put the minimum price up to £50 and also the store that supplied me did away with their in-store bakery so I stopped shopping at Tesco and I haven't been there for ages. I did go today, I did pick up 10 items, some of which are definitely new, some of which may or may not be new, but they are all new to me. So I'm going to have them and I'm going to begin with one of these peach and almond Danish pastries from the in-store bakery. Flaky pastry filled with caramel custard topped with chunky peach and flaked almonds. I mean, it's a decent size. You've got the layers in the pastry. That is delicious. The pastry is buttery, the peach filling is juicy, and you can taste the caramel custard, and the almonds add a nice crunch. I would have them again, but probably won't because no Tesco near me, and I would recommend them to you guys. Another day, another pastry. This time, apple and blackberry crumble Danish. Not sure if these are new. Not sure if I maybe tried them in my last Tesco video, but considering that I haven't done a Tesco video in 2024 so far, I can't remember them, so I'm guessing you guys won't either. Flaky golden pastry, generously filled with brown the apples and blackberries. Again, it looks and feels good. It's two pounds for the pack, so a pound for this probably isn't that bad in terms of value, what with inflation. I know I just got a bit that was mostly pastry there, but with yesterday's, even that had a lot of flavour. That mostly just tasted of pastry. I didn't get the apple or blackcurrant at all. I'm going to go in for another bite and maybe more after that. You can taste the apple and blackberry, but the flavour is definitely not as intense as it could be, and I would prefer it to be. The bits of apple are crunchy and juicy, and the pastry is lovely, you can see the layers, but nice as it is, I would definitely pick the ones that I tried yesterday over this. I'm honestly not sure if I'd get these again because I think I'd rather have an apple turnover. The apple does dominate in flavour terms. The blackberry comes through as an aftertaste more than a flavour in its own right. From the delicious dessert company at Tesco, I have two caramelised biscuit yum yums. Scrumptious caramel fondant, hand finished with caramelised biscuit pieces. I need a plate guys, this is going to be messy. Decent enough size, it does have that caramelised biscuit smell to it. That's how the bake looks. It is nice. I wouldn't mind it being a bit lighter, it's quite a dense bake but it's got a nice, sweet, fluffy flavour and you've got that caramelised biscuit on top. It's good. Next, I'm going to try one of these Scandi style cinnamon buns. Swirled with a sweet cinnamon filling and hand rolled in a sweet cinnamon sugar that you can taste in every bite. I mean, I'm guessing the reason it's Scandi is because of the shape. I'll show it to you when I take one out of the box, but Never had one before, looking forward to it. The best way I can think of to describe the appearance of this is if you tucked a tiny cinnamon bun inside a bad Yorkshire pudding. However, it smells very much like a cinnamon bun. Interesting, it's a lot chewier than I was expecting. It's not as dense as a lot of cinnamon buns and that sweet cinnamon flavour 
is delicious. I like it, but I don't love it. And I think I prefer an ordinary cinnamon bun to this Scandi take on it, or at least Tesco's version of a Scandi take on it. So not one I'd recommend to you guys. Tesco Millionaire's Mini Bites. Clusters of caramel, shortcake and digestive biscuits with crisp rice covered in milk chocolate. Sounds good to me. I mean, they're a decent enough size. The vibe I'm getting is very much toffee crisp rather than millionaires, but we'll see. Crunchy, chewy, chocolatey. Not millionaires. They're nice, but they're nothing special. Tesco Finest Milk Chocolate and Sea Salt Caramel Cookies. Indulgent all butter salted caramel flavour cookies packed full of Belgian milk chocolate chunks, caramel fudge pieces and sea salt. These cookies are made by experts with more than 160 years experience. Well, I'm guessing that's combined, not each. A good size, a good thickness. They've got that kind of synthetic caramel smell though. The caramel flavour is very subtle. It's a nice buttery cookie. It's got a slightly odd texture, partly chewy, partly crunchy. Mmm, I'm not sure. The chunks are a decent size and there are plenty of them. I like them, I don't love them, but I might have them again. For once, I'm just not sure. There's going to be a fair bit of chocolate in this video and I'm kicking off with this chocolate bar. Milk chocolate with caramel flakes with almonds, crunchy cereals and salt. These squares are big. I was not expecting them to be that size. You can see the texture there. I hear the ice cream van. But this is a Tesco taste test. The milk chocolate could be creamier and sweeter. You definitely taste the salt. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm fairly indifferent towards it, so it's not one that I'd get again. Tesco Finest Carrot Cake. Carrot cake sponge topped with cream cheese frosting and mixed spice dusting. Does not mention any nuts, but there is a picture of a walnut on it, so I suspect there are nuts in it, but I can tolerate walnuts. First impressions, it holds together well, cuts easily and it does have that nice spiced smell and it's not dry. Good flavour. The frosting is very sweet but because there's only a little of it it's not overpowering. You get different textures from the sponge, the nuts which add crunch more than flavour and the raisins or sultanas. Not my favourite carrot cake nice i wouldn't get it again though i wouldn't say it's an amazing carrot cake i prefer a bit less of a spiced flavor no nuts and more carrot two more chocolate bars don't think this one is new in but it sounded good so i got it my channel my video my choice biscuit and raisin pecan and honeycomb so this is milk chocolate with raisins and biscuits. And this one is milk chocolate with caramelized pecan nuts and honeycomb pieces. So I'm gonna try this one first, packed with biscuit and raisin. Great crunch and texture from the biscuit pieces and the raisins, but the chocolate needs to be sweeter and creamier. It's quite a bland bar of chocolate I wouldn't have it again. Let's see what I make of this one. So again, pretty chunky. That is a very large nut. 
the honeycomb and caramelized nuts add sweetness which this needs it's definitely my favorite of the tesco chocolate bars i've tried in this video if there was a tesco near me it's one that i might get again because it's not a flavor you can find that often yeah i like this one a lot i'm going to finish this video off with some ice cream this is the tesco caramel fully loaded ice cream described as caramel flavor ice cream with salted caramel ripple. Tesco version of my favorite flavor of Ben and Jerry's. This has been out of the freezer for about five minutes, so I'm hoping it's long enough. I mean, it's still quite solid, but I will not be beaten. So you can see there's a chunk of a caramel cup there doesn't taste anything like caramel choo choo. The ice cream could be creamier. The caramel swirl is nice, but the flavour is not as intense as I would expect. And I'll see if I can dig out a bit with a caramel cup. The caramel inside the cup is quite chewy, whereas with Ben and Jerry's, it's runnier. I wouldn't get this again. I'd pay more for the brand that I love. Well, guys, that rounds off this video. As ever, thank you so much for watching. Do take care and I hope that you'll come back for the next video. Bye.